Hi, I'm Lionel Sandner from AdvantageScience.com and thanks for scanning the QR code in your work text so that we can talk just for a couple minutes about the flashcards and the forgetting curve and how those two are connected to help you study better. Before we get started though, just like a quick uh, reminder that at AdvantageScience.com is where you go for all your digital support, but you can also go to the App Store for your mobile device and download our app. Just search for Advantage Science and you'll find it. Just another way to be able to access some of the material that we're talking about today. So I want to talk a little bit about the forgetting curve. And this is a piece of information about how our brain learns that we've known probably for more than 100 years. And if you look at that graph on your left, you'll see the red line. That's really the first time you learn something. And you'll see the vertical axis is the memory. And then on the horizontal axis is the time remembered. And notice how as soon as you learn something, that would be at the top of the red line, we start to forget. It's just part of how the brain works. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just how we're built. But if you look closely and you go to day one, you see we've lost maybe a third of what we, we learned the day before. But if we go to the top of that day one line, we can see that the curve starts over again. And what that indicates is that if you review the material that you learned yesterday, in effect, you top up your memory and you remember what you were taught yesterday. And then you can repeat that at space times over the next week or two, then you actually start to remember it better and better. And if you look kind of on the far right of the graph, you'll see that where the line ends goes up, up, up. So every time that we review something, we remember it. Now, how we review it's important, but for now, let's just focus on the fact that as soon as we learn something, we begin to forget. And the way that we fix that is we need to review the material to remember. And so, of course, you must be thinking, well, how do I do this? I, if I just can't go back and, and redo the lecture or the, the talk or whatever you did in class the day before, what do you do? Well. There's several tools at AdvantageScience.com that can help you with this. The first one is what we call our Traffic Light Study Guide. And these are just statements that tell you what you should be learning in each couple pages of the book. Even if you read those statements before you've learned anything, it will help you remember. But you'll be able to return to those as you work your way through the chapter. At the end of every section in your book, there is a quiz at AdvantageScience.com. It's only four to six questions, they're multiple choice, and they're really kind of a way to help you remember. So maybe when you're uh, at your home after the day or the next day, if you take that quiz, that'll just be another way that you can go after that forgetting curve and review the material. But the one I want to talk today about is more about the flashcards. And our flashcards that you can find by section review key concepts, equations, and terms after you complete a section. And this is based on the research called the Lintner system. And if you look at that diagram kind of in the center on your left, how, how that diagram worked is described on the right. So you have a stack of flashcards, and we'll take a look at one in a second. The ones you get right, you put into the blue box numbered one. And the ones you don't get right stay in that first box. And then the next day, you review the ones you got wrong in the first box and all the ones you got right in day one, if you get them right a second time, they go to the box numbered three. And if you get it wrong, they go back to that initial box. So over time, you're trying to move all your flashcards over to the green box on the far right. But to notice the numbers on each of the box is the gap between times of reviewing those flashcards. So let's just say you got uh, all your flashcards into box one, and the next day you come back and you do it, and you get half of them right. Well, half of the cards would go to box day three box, all the others would just stay in the one box. And when you got to the day three, you would be reminded, and you would be given the day one's cards more and the day three cards you would give, be given less and as you get them right they move to the day seven box so if you get it right it goes to the right and if you get the question wrong it goes to the left 
or the flashcard wrong, it goes to the left. And the idea is that the gap gets longer because as the forgetting curve showed us, the longer it goes, the more time you can put in before you have to reinforce it again. So let's see what that looks like at AdvantageScience.com. Here's an example of a flashcard and you can see it's just a question there and there's a blank, our statement, sorry, and a blank. We put in our answer, in this case, the answer is ionic, and we go over and we click answer and it tells us in this case we got it right. It tells us how many cards we've got remaining and it gives us a new card and away we go and we just do those questions and when we're done, it based, the system basically goes asleep and leaves you to, to go do other stuff but then in a couple days you'll come back and review them. And that'll be hard because you've got to go back and think about it and retrieve that information from your memory. But by doing that with spaced repetition, that's your best way, according to the research, to learn the material that you're covering in your classroom. If you have any more uh, questions, just ask your teacher or you can contact us at info at advantageinteractive.com and we're happy to answer any questions. Thanks and good luck with your course.